I'd like to thank our sponsor for this video, which is True Fire. Hello, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I am a music teacher, an Enya endorsed artist, and I love helping my students utilize their gifts and talents to be able to serve others. Today is going to be all about rhythm. If you have no idea what these little things are, then this is a perfect place to start. Having a base knowledge of basic rhythm is going to be essential for learning songs, and it's going to be a lot easier to learn songs if you have this foundation. Foundation. So how I teach my students rhythm is I like to tell them a story. I ask them, okay, pizza or pie? And they look at me very confused and they like, what do you mean? And some say pizza, some say pie. So for today, we're just going to say pizza. Ah, pizza. Yep. Again. Pepperoni. You're at home all by yourself. You have this gorgeous pizza in front of you. It's your favorite and it's all to yourself. It is a whole pizza pie. So whole pizza pie related to music, we have a whole note. A whole note is held for four counts. So I strum once, hold it for four. So I am just going to play a D chord and I'm going to strum once and hold it for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ding dong! It's your best friend. And they arrive at the door. It's like, oh, hey, how you doing? And then they, they smell pizza and they go, oh, that smells so good. And because you're nice, what you do is that you say, okay, I'll share my pizza with you. Besides, a whole pizza, that's going to be way too much for me. So you cut it in half. Now you have two perfect equal parts to your pizza pie. All right, half related to music, we have two halves make a whole. So now we have two half notes equal to two beats, two counts. So I have my D chord. I'm going to strum it once, but hold it for two counts each. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Ding dong. Oh. It's two more people arrive at your door and then they come in and they, oh, they smell that pizza. And because you're nice, what you do is that you cut that pizza in another half again. So now you have four equal parts, four quarters, four equal parts to your whole pizza pie. And in music, we cut that into four equal parts. Then we have quarter notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here's my D chord and I'm going to strum down on quarter notes. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay. Now, before we get into the next part of the rhythm, I would like to thank our sponsor for this video, which is TrueFire. TrueFire uses world-class teachers to create online lessons. I've tried them for the past few months and my playing always improves. I'm using Joe Robinson's course, 10 Scales and Modes You Must Know. And not only does he tell you how to play these modes, but he demonstrates why they work over certain chord progressions. It's complete with tabs, multi-angle camera shots, and you have the ability to slow down the video to meet your speed. It's brilliant. Get 35% off True Fire courses using the promo code onemusic 35 which is linked in the description box below and a pinned comment. Or sign up for the All Access Pass to have access to the entire True Fire catalog. You can sample anything in the catalog with the All Access Pass and see what you want to learn next. I love their tagline, learn, practice, and play with True Fire. Thanks again for True Fire for sponsoring this video. Ding dong! We have four more people show up at your door. <laughs> oh my goodness! So now there's eight people in the room, including you. So we have eight people and we have four quarters. So what we do is that we cut those four quarters into equal parts again. And we have our whole pizza pie cut into eight parts. We have eighths, hmm. eighth notes. So we have our whole pizza pie. It is cut up into eight equal parts. And I have my D chord and I'm going to count one and two and three 
and four and so when you cut that beat in half that quarter note in half it doesn't turn into a one two three four five six seven eight that's a lot what you do is that you cut that in half it becomes an and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and Now, to make things a little bit more easy to strum, you can add an upstroke. You actually end up working less. Strumming down is great for maybe palm muting. Things like that. But you can also use the upstroke to be able to be able to strum faster. So we're gonna have down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one and two and three and four and Now, ding dong, eight more people show up. And you're like, I'm gonna have to order another pizza. <laughs> so you cut that piece of pizza, those little tiny eighth notes, cut those all into little halves, and then you have 16 pieces of your pizza. So you have those eighth notes divided into like perfect little halves. It's going to be one E and a. Uh. That's going to be equal to one beat now sliced into four equal parts, right? One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And if I were to speed it up, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. That's the end of my story. <laughs> so you can see how I started with the whole note, then cut that in half. We have two half notes, then we cut those in half, and then you have quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes. Now you can take those little parts and then you can smoosh them together, rearrange them, and then that creates different rhythms, different strumming patterns. I have some videos all about some different guitar techniques. I'm gonna leave those around me in the cards and I will see you in the next one. Bye.